Hi! Um, so I don't frequently talk through my videos, but I just wanted to do a quick video today um, about troubleshooting the tightening process on a front wrap cross carry. Over time, I feel like I have narrowed down where I have had issues perfecting that, and I just wanted to do a specific video hey, um, talking about the tightening process of that. So this is not meant to be, yeah, this is not meant to be a full tutorial necessary on the carry. I'm assuming that you know how to do the carry in general, and I just want to talk the, about the process of tightening it. <laughs> say hi. Say hi. hi. <laughs> um, so I am using an Ethos Cascade uh, Electro Purple, and it, this is a base size carry. So whatever your preferred uh, base size is, my preferred base size is a seven. This is actually longer than a seven, um, but long is fine. Short is what would be an issue. So middle marker. Okay, so the first thing um, that I find helps in terms of having an easy process of tightening this carry comfortably is that you start off with uh, just the right amount of space for getting your child in and not too much space. The more slack you have to tighten out, the more difficult it can be or the more room for error. So I find it's best if there's just enough room to get your child in, which will of course depend on how big your child is, um, but not too much extra space. I don't want this much room because then I'm gonna have a lot of tightening to do. I would much rather have just enough to get him in there and not too much. So, <clears throat> all right. Yeah. So once you have this set and you're gonna start tightening, um, the first thing is it's easier if you tighten with the pass that's underneath so you can feel and this side is my underneath side so I'm going to start with that. Um, what I typically do is I will grab the whole tail first and do a quick tighten. Um, I do a bounce. What? What? Um, I have my hand underneath his bum here to kind of lift as I tighten and I also shift my torso back so it's kind of a three move process I lift his bum I shift my shoulder and torso as I tighten that whole tail and then I'll do that on the other side as well pull tighten that actually gets everything pretty good and tight if you have not had too much slack to start off with when you get them in there but if you need to perfect it i'll tuck one tail and then you can perfect um usually the top edge is where slack is left if anything um and it's very helpful if you can pull your slack with this hand push it over and then grab with this hand and then it's the same thing as before where I have talked about lifting their weight out of the carry because that's going to help your fabric to move much more easily if there isn't all of their weight holding down against it. So hand under their bum, lift, and then you're going to pull while you simultaneously move your shoulder to help your torso push the fabric in that direction. And then same thing and you can do it strand by strand, piece by piece through the carry. And it's also much easier if when you're tightening, you pull sort of back and up instead of forward. Um, if you're tightening back in this direction, you're gonna get it really tight here. And then if you just hold tension as you pull it forward to where you need it, you'll get it really perfect. Um, so I can do the same thing on this side where I push it and pull. So like I said, it's kind of a three step process of lift their weight, push your body back to push the fabric around as you pull it forward and hold tension. And this is what will get a really good snug, comfortable carry 
that shouldn't budge for you um, much, if at all, when you are moving around. Um, because if there's a little bit of slack in your carry, the more you move and the more your child moves, um, it will kind of push that slack and they will sink down a little bit and you will feel the pull on your shoulders. Um, but if you can really perfect that tightening process, especially if you have a wrap that is grippy, because the more grippy a wrap is, the more difficult it can be to get it really tight and snug because it may not glide on itself that easily. This wrap glides on itself very easily, um, which is one of the reasons I think it's an excellent beginner wrap because you don't have to work really hard against the qualities of the wrap to get a good job. And then that helps you to, I think, feel confident in your skills and then move on to other things if you want to. Although you don't need to because this is certainly an excellent wrap for any skill level. Um, and I still really love it with this guy. Um, so those are just a few things that I think can be helpful and that um, I have learned to do a better job myself. Uh, so I hope that that helps um, in troubleshooting your front wrap cross carry. And really, I mean, any carry, um, you can apply that same concept to in terms of tightening your passes, whatever it might be. So, thanks!